we're here at Thunderbird Show Park in Langley, British Columbia, Canada. So, why am I here? Because this is the springboard for international Canadian Olympic rider Tiffany Foster. It's also one of the favorite shows for Olympic gold medalist Eric Lamas. So this is a little show, it's a boutique show. It's in Langley and it's just before the Spruce Meadows Summer Series. So this is a big deal because it's now a CSIO four-star Furacea Nations Cup event. And that's a massive deal for a show on the west coast of Canada, on the west coast of North America. So we're going to talk to some of the riders here. There's a lot of big names here that have made this a point just before they hit the Summer Series at Spruce Meadows. And we're going to find out why they're here and what they can expect from this event. So this is the first stop you have before the Spruce Meadows Summer Series. How does this work into your summer plan, especially competing four weeks at Spruce Meadows? Yeah, well, I mean, I think that was really a big part of why we opted to come here. Obviously, if we were named to the Nations Cup, we were going to come. But even if we weren't, I think we would have all come because I think it's a great place. You know, Spruce Meadows is a pretty intimidating venue, and it's a place where the horses really have to step up, and I think that you know, we're going to really use this place and I think we're going to come back every year just to sort of come, if you have a young horse that you kind of want to get on the grass, have some, you know, spooky material but in a really friendly setting, I think it's a great place to come to do anything like that and uh, I think that a lot of people should and will use that to prepare for Spruce Meadows. It's close enough and now they're offering lots of money and, and points and all that stuff so hopefully everybody will come. Now you have your teammate and gold medalist Eric Lamaze here. He's also talked a lot about how much he loves this show. What do you think it is about Thunderbird that makes it such a sort of intimate boutique feel? Well, I think first of all, it's it's so exhibitor friendly. You know, they do everything to make sure that you're happy, and that's a big difference, I think, especially in North America, to really feel like the rider is 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 the absolute most important and to make sure that they have a good experience that you can kind of, if you need to fix something, you can fix it here and everything's really friendly for the horses. There's tons of place to ride. The arenas are beautiful. The jumps are amazing. And I think that it's such a great place that you can come and develop some younger horses or younger riders or anything that, that needs a little time in the ring. I think it's a super place to come. And actually the way that they hosted this event, they can show that they can put on a really first class, high level event too. And so I'm so proud of them and I'm so happy to be here. So Team Mexico wins the first Furacea Nations Cup at Thunderbird. This is your first visit to Thunderbird. Can you tell me a little bit about your first experience? Yes, of course. Well, we are very happy here. The truth, I heard that it was a wonderful show because everybody talks about it. But I came here, I was very impressed. I think it's a beautiful ring, as you can see now. Uh, the footing was fantastic. I've heard last week, I was not here, but I heard they had a lot of uh, raining, and still you can see the footing that it's like uh, nothing happened. We have two amazing warm-up rings with the best footing there is. Uh, horses, I think they're super comfortable. There's good uh, stables, you can go walking. Uh, there's a, a nice uh, track to go walking all around. Uh, the place is fantastic. Uh, I, we, we, we cannot ask for anything else. So this is a stop for you, like many riders here, before the Spruce Meadows Summer Series. What do you think is beneficial about being at Thunderbird before you go and compete in Calgary? Well, for sure, one, you are very close. I think an eight, ten hour drive for the horses, you're in Calgary already. And it's a very nice gra grass arena that, as we know, Calgary is the same. And this can be a very good uh, preparation, I think, before Calgary. It's not so difficult or so spooky as Calgary ring, so I think it's great that the horses come, can come out in grass field, jump in a very nice way, prepare them. Uh, the course designer I think that he normally builds here, I think it's fantastic, he does very fair uh, job and even it's difficult but you know it, it gives a lot of confidence to the horses and I think it's a best preparation to go to Spruce. <laughs> So Thunderbird, yeah. this is a part of your summer plan. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about why? Um, honestly, I love coming here. This is this is my favorite show, and I've you know I've had a bit of a down year last year. I wasn't able to come up, and um, you know Jane and Chris do such an incredible job, and it really makes us want to come up here. You know the footing is fantastic, um, the atmosphere is lovely. There's more and more spectators every year, 
um, and really like with the CSI rating that it got, it's, it's hard to turn down, especially when we're gearing up for spruce and we want to jump out in a big grass field with good footing. Um, there's no better place to be, honestly. So obviously it's, it's closeness to spruce is a big reason why you come here, the fact that it's on grass. It's a factor, it's a factor. I wouldn't say it's the only reason. I think, I mean, we're coming back here in August, so um, you know, as long as there's prize money and they run it the same way that they always do, which is a guarantee that they will, um, we're happy to be here. So you're a leading rider for Egypt and you've obviously ridden all over the world. Mm -hmm. You rode at WEG. Mm -hmm. um, so can you tell me a little bit about how this compares to international events? It's right on par, I mean, to be honest. So there's, you know, there's top riders here, there's top course designers, there's great materials, great footing, great crowds. Um, honestly, like, um, it's, it's right up to par. Wow. Thank you. So you have a special perspective because you've been able to see the quality of riders that are attending Thunderbird yes. increase in quality over the over the years. Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about the kind of field you saw today? Yeah, well I think where Thunderbird and the management has been very smart is to keep that uh, boutique feel and to go for quality and not necessarily quantity of numbers. And because of that, it's become a very popular show with riders, trainers and owners. And it's, um, it's, as quality has just come here, it's really, um, the level just keeps getting better and better and better. And it, it used to be that this was an easy place to show, but with, uh, with the quality, it's, it's, you have to really bring your A game here. So it, it's just um, makes everybody strive towards excellence. So after speaking with some of the riders here, What's evident is that international riders at a particular level seem to value quality over quantity. And what clearly taken place this week was Thunderbird Show Park managed a CSIO four star Nations Cup event focusing on a boutique feel to their overall horse show. And that seems to really resound to a lot of these international riders. So what I can tell from after spending three days here with some of the riders that have made a point of attending Thunderbird Show Park prior to their attendance at Spruce Meadows Summer Series is that quality over quantity matters and the number of riders in an international class matters. So I'm really excited to see how Thunderbird Show Park is going to evolve not only as a four-star event but as a CSIO Furisian Nations Cup event. So let's see who's going to attend next year and what big names we can expect in 2017.